everyone. Um, I just uh, I just made a video and posted a video about uh, about my kiln and about how uh, I posted a picture a couple days ago about uh, with my kiln open while it was it was cooling. Um, it was red hot, uh, and uh, so I posted that. And a couple potters mentioned made some comments that were comments of concern, their concerns, because they, they wouldn't do that to a kiln, they wouldn't open a kiln up when it's hot. Um, so I, I made a video explaining what my, my thoughts on that, uh, uh, of um, why I'm not concerned about my kiln when I do that, why people are concerned about their kilns, or why they're concerned and worried about things in general in life. I made a little video about that. So I wanted to, I posted it and then I was thinking about it and I'm like, you know, you know, all, these potters are my friends. These people are my friends. <laughs> you know, the, everyone's going to have their own way of doing things. Um, social media, though, puts it, you know, if, if, I'm, if I'm coming over to someone's house for dinner and, and I always drink my wine out of a coffee mug and they want to drink their wine out of a wine glass, you know, I'm going to drink my wine out of the wine glass if that's what they give me. I'm not going to say that they're doing anything wrong and have, make, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, demand my wine in a coffee cup. So, um, so we're all friends and all. Um, so I, I think we can talk about these things and be friends. But what? Um, so what I? What got, I started thinking about. Well, so why are they? Why are they talking about this stuff? And um, the thought, you know, uh, role models. Kind of, you know, am I a role model? What kind of role model do I want to be if I'm going to be posting stuff? And you know, uh, this is. These are my thoughts on being a role model. Uh, I think I think I I think I've been an excellent role model my entire life. I think my my the person who I am evolves as a role model as I get older. Um, uh, you know, I used to be a uh, a basketball star in excellent shape, um, college basketball player. Had to follow many rules. Had to wear a tie during school on game days had to tuck in my shirt uh, i was i was raised in a family where i was taught to look nice you know um, have nice shoes don't look dirty good hygiene kinds of things like that um so the, it, it it makes you start thinking about me being a role model so now i have a tattoo i'm opening up my kiln when it's too hot on Facebook, someone says that. Um, what else am I doing? You know, I, I, I made a skull and crossbones tile that had a, a Latin phrase on it that probably very few people even looked up to try to figure out what, what it meant. Um, you know, I, I wear my hat backwards when I glaze because when I went to Norway, I started wearing a hat again because I always wore a hat when I was younger. And then when I'm glazing, I like to have my hat backwards because it, Having this, having having my hat like this, kind of, kind of just it's, it feels enclosed when I'm glazing, so it's 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 uh it feels good. I feel wide open when I'm when I have my hat backwards like this while I'm glazing. Um, so, you know, is that bad to be a role model? You know, because I know a lot of parents don't like their kids wearing their hat backwards. Um, you know, but for but for ten years, for ten years I I I had, I, I always wore no hat. The last Ten years, I wore no no hat. Always try to keep my hair looking nice. Worried about that all the time. Um, so then I started wearing a hat again, and um, which I prefer now. And now I'm wearing it. Uh, doesn't mean I don't wash my hair every morning. <laughs> so um, so am I a good role model? So you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger. He always says about how in order to be in order to dominate life be successful at life you have to take you have to break the rules he says and you know people say oh what does that mean breaking rules you, that's that's bad to break a rule that's not what he means you have to, you have to you have to think think creatively when he says that what what rules you know it's not necessarily what rules the police make or what rules you know the your school has it's it's kind of like general rules of life that we all kind of maybe don't talk about what we know exist. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe by me wearing my hat backwards while I'm glazing tiles, 
is some little unofficial rule that, oh, you know, that's kind of dumb if you do that. You know, but now I decide, screw it. I'm going to wear my hat backwards now when I'm glazing tiles. That's kind of a little rule maybe that I'm breaking in my mind that a lot of people, you know, wouldn't go there. So, so to be a role model, I think you also have to show that, that you have, you take chances. You aren't afraid of every single little thing that possibly could exist around you. Because if you start looking at all the fear that, that could possibly happen, you, you won't even be an individual anymore. You'll be dictated by the fears that surround you. Uh, you won't, your decisions will be made based on what other people you think they're thinking about you. And we all do it. And it's not a bad thing to understand, you know, social norms. But it's also a good thing to be an individual. It doesn't mean we, 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 we I mean, you can, but it doesn't mean I'm going to start doing the most unusual things ever. It just means I have boundaries that I started with in life when I was growing up, and now I'm kind of feeling comfortable with who I am as I get older. And 